Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Carry for the Everyday Guy. Yes, I know it doesn't look right, it looks weird. I forgot to turn my mic on like a complete amateur for this very first part of this video. Don't worry, it's only this section. Stay tuned. This is gonna be my very first camping style video. I'm taking EDC on the road. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I try to get as much scenery and as much fun stuff in as possible and talk about gear as often as I can. If you've got nothing to do and you're a guy or a girl who enjoys the outdoors, you're probably going to enjoy this video. So give it a watch, maybe give it a like and let me know in the comments what you think and if you want me to do more or if you want me to do more uh, things around Cape Town. Enjoy it, guys. arrived at our camp location this tent actually just bought it for this this um, occasion um, gonna be doing some some camping with a buddy Andre and another Michelle camping we're gonna be heading down to the rock pools I'm gonna take you guys with me it's gonna be freaking awesome um, if you are looking to get away this place is called Beaverlac it's about an hour and a half outside of Cape Town I would just recommend if you are going to come out here you're going to need some kind of off-road utility vehicle because um, it's it's quite a tricky pass I think you're going to need like 4x4 I don't know maybe you don't but you don't don't want to come here in your your dropped golf GTI okay guys so we're at a rock freaking awesome here but something I want to ask my swimming aficionados how do you guys float on your back like like the two Michels are doing? I'll see if I can get it in. Uh, let me flip the screen. Can you see? There and there. Guys can't float on their back the way uh, Michel A, Michel A and Michel B are doing. If any of you know how to, to float on your back like like that or like Mandazot or like that please let me know I've absolutely no idea and it seems like men are not able to do it hey guys so after the swim um, we're having a braai that is South African for uh, barbecue right foreign language barbecue Andre bought me this and the question really is does it still count as a braai if you use this to make it so no blitz or anything required. Ooh, hot. Tuck that in there. And that's it. Five minute fire. Okay, so walk around our campsite, basically, you guys all know the jeep. This is a little three-person tent that we bought from Cape Union Mart. First time setting it up, and I mean, it's quite nice. Very, very easy to set up, like the idiot could set this up. I think one person could set this tent up. So that's myself and Michelle. This is the communal area. How freaking awesome is that? Andre, is your car on? Yeah. This is Andre's Everest beast of a car but he is going to switch it out for the jeep fairly soon so one of the days there will be two jeeps standing next to each other
So guys, I'm gonna end off the night using um, I'm using the the um, lantern from Torch SA as my as my full light here. We're gonna end off the night. I'm gonna end it off with a cigar. Yeah, I can actually put it in here now. We've got we've got the fire going. It's been a good day. Tomorrow we will continue. I've got a. This is so difficult. A Riacherera cigar that we're gonna end it off. And Andre, what are we drinking? Van Rijn's ten year old. A Van Rijn's ten year old. So it's gonna be uh, a good night. This is the last you're gonna hear me talking. I'll leave the camera rolling to to show off the ambience, and um, we'll pick everything up tomorrow again. Have a good night guys, I'll see you soon, cheers.